y'all. I am so back here. So back here again on UGA Indy Internet Radio Station. Your favorite host, Miss Coco Bowden with the most. With the most, y'all. <laughs> with the most. So what are we talking about now? So I done moved on from the Watt thing and all that stuff. Y'all know where the Watt is now. It's a waste of time. That <laughs> waste of time. I'm trying to tell you. But now I am back on BBW Singles versus Marriage. Oh. So y'all know everything that I'm talking about, right? I'm basing basically off of me at this point in time because this is my blog, right? This is my blog. I don't have time to always write. So I, I put something out here, you know, to let people just know that you're not alone. You're not the only one going through it. I go through it too. So I am single. Like I said, 350 plus pounds. Single woman. Now, how do I feel about marriage though? Am I looking for marriage? Do I want to get married someday? Sure. I want to get married someday. But right now, I don't think, I'm at a point in my life right now where marriage is not so much, and it's not my priority right now. My priority right now is to focus on me. On me. On who I am, and, and you know the things that I want to do and accomplish before I get married. I don't want to go into a, a marriage and, and don't have this and don't have that. I want to take this time to let God mold me and create me into the woman that he wants me to be. Now, why is this important? Because a lot of women are sitting back thinking that, um, hey, I'm getting older. Because I'm getting older, I got to rush this thing. I got, I got to have marriage now. Or maybe you're getting bigger. You know, you're getting bigger and maybe that's um, causing you to think the bigger you get, maybe you won't get anybody. Right? But that's not true. That's not true. There's somebody out here always. Somebody out here for everybody. I feel like this. As a single woman, my kids are grown. My granddaughters, I keep them whenever I want to. I have five beautiful granddaughters, by the way. I keep them whenever I want to. But I found, though, my best times. I have a guy in my life. I do have a guy in my life, and I'm very excited about that. I have a guy in my life, but it's not the guy that I am seeking marriage from. At least not at this point. It's 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 too early on in the game, and, and I'm just out here having fun. Dating should be about having fun. Just exploring your options, exploring people. Like I said in my previous blog, the dating scene has changed. Technology has really just made it where you can basically date without even meeting, basically. Ugh. That's crazy, ain't it? But that's what a lot of people are doing. That's what they're turning to internet dating, internet dating, cyber sex, and all that stuff. I ain't down with that part, but I- I'll give internet dating a try. I will. I-, I don't think it's no harm in you know getting to know people um, through the internet. I have met some wonderful people through the internet, and I have met some bad people. Y'all, let me tell y'all. Oh God, why well, I'm talking about that? You gotta be careful with internet date too, y'all, because everybody that sounds good is not good. I actually ran up on a guy that tried to kill me one time. And I mean, that was before internet even really got really, really popular with dating. Yes. But we met at a public area, and it was at a store, and he got pissed off because I wouldn't, like, let him continue to ride with me, which I had my reasons, because I, you know, when your gut tell you to leave somebody alone, you better listen to your gut. And that's what my gut was doing. It was like, you better let this man go. Because he was nothing like he had on his picture or nothing. Y'all, I'm trying to tell you. I don't pick on people, but this guy was beyond ratchet. And I can look in his eyes and tell he was full of hell. I'm telling you the honest truth. So, um, I used my better instinct to get rid of him. I heard up. I sent him in the store to buy a pack of gum or something. Or maybe it was a pack of cigarettes. At that, at that time, I was really heavily smoking and drinking and stuff. I sent him in the store to beer and a cigarette and some cigarettes. And as um, soon as he went in there, I took off. I took off. He was not for me. And I knew it. Mmm. It was tragic, y'all. But we're gonna move on along and, and play our first artist of the broadcast, the podcast, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna play our first artist right here on Simple Life Vlog. Thank you. 
the first guy I finally came here in five years I hadn't had no company in five years this guy came we saw we talked and guess what I didn't even let him in the house <laughs> ah, shame on me I didn't even let him in the house but that's because I just wasn't feeling it so the guy he, he had patience with me I mean my, my friend he's cool right he had patience with me he, he really waited me out and this guy been waiting three years y'all we have been talking like three years not as a dating thing but as a good friend friendship thing for three years and he had never been to my house but one time and that was when my dad passed and I never invited him back he never questioned me never questioned me about it and so finally I invited him and then I didn't even let him in the house bless my heart but he did um want to come back he wanted to come back despite I didn't let him in the house and I was like okay so he came back two weeks later and finally, I was like, you know, come on, we're going to the house and watch a movie or something. Now, why didn't I let that guy in the house the first time? Well, for one thing, you know, I kind of developed a mentality. Mentality. I had a bad habit of letting guys in and they wouldn't leave. And the last two guys I let, let in, they didn't leave for 15 years. The first guy was 10 years. The second guy was 15 years. So I lost over half my life being tied down to guys who had no intentions of committing to me and was I a little afraid yes yes I was afraid not because I didn't know the guy but I was afraid that things may be progressing a little too fast for me a little too fast because I'm like I just started traveling once I became single I feel like there's more stuff I got to see out here there's more options out here I don't want to rush in anything and at the same time I don't want to let a good man run away but how do I know if he's for me <laughs> I have to consult God on that. And I do talk to God about it a lot. And so far, you know, I'm still in the running. I'm still single, still single, still in the running. And just not really seeing myself tying down right now. It's crazy, right? I know. But y'all, look, though, we got another song coming up for you right here on Simple Life Vlog. And we're going to go ahead and spin that song for you, too, okay? And then we'll be back to finish listening at me talk, y'all. I can talk all night. You might not like it, but I can talk all night. But we'll be back. I've been down and out, down and out. Nowhere to go. I could call my own Satan tried to knock me out and he tried to turn me around my friends and family turned and walked from me and my soul 